What it is, guys, this your boy King Mike D Games here coming at you with another video. This one's gonna be a quick one here. Uh, I got a request from my boy Adrian on Instagram. He wanted to see my uh, anime collection. I don't have a lot. So I'm gonna get into it, and a lot of these games I have not played because either I don't have a I have a region lock system, and I don't have the uh, Japanese version of the system. So as you guys know, like a PlayStation One, uh, you would have to have a PlayStation One Japanese a PlayStation One to be able to play some of these games, or a Japanese PS2. Uh, I know like a PS3 can play PS3 Japanese games is not region lock. Uh, I'm not sure about PlayStation Four, but. Um, yeah, so some of these, like the PS2 or PS1 and the um, uh, my GameCube games, I have not, some of them I haven't played yet because I they're region locked, so I can't play them. So let's get into the first one, which I know nothing about. It's called uh, Guyford. I know it's an animated series uh, in Japan. I know nothing about it. Looks something like some kind of Power Ranger robot thing. I don't know what it's about. I haven't even opened it yet. It's because I can't even play it. So, um yeah if you guys know anything about this guy right here uh let me know next up one of my favorite animated series one piece grand battle 2 i have never played and i really want to play this game because you guys know i love one piece and uh, i want to see what this game is about i don't know um it looks pretty fun it looks kind of like a uh head-to-head -head combat 2d fighter kind of game looks interesting want to try that out if you guys have played it let me know uh, next up, you guys know about Burning Blood. Uh, I gave my opinions on it about my on my PS4 collection. Um, like I said, it's okay. Uh, I prefer uh, Pirate Warriors 3, even though Burning Blood is newer. It looks a lot better uh, as far as graphic wise and everything. But you know, One Piece Pirate Warriors 3 is, is more better, I, I think, because it's hard. And I'm gonna say this for a lot of the anime games, the way the camera angle works, it's very hard to even sometimes get a hit in because. It's like you're all over the place it's so open world it's hard to lock in on one on a person and it's just all over the place so if you guys have played these games you know what i'm talking about um yeah so it's a very very tough game to play uh next up it's going to be i talked about this game j stars versus uh plus victory plus whatever right, i've talked about this game you guys seen it in my uh other video uh it's basically the same thing as that uh burning uh blood uh sorry burning blood it's, it's it's all over the place it's hard to to get a, a hit in and move in because the camera is always constantly moving around and just doing all kinds of crazy stuff but as far as character wise they have a lot of decent uh selection uh good characters from a lot of animated series so i mean it gets a good grade in that sense to me but as far as everything else i mean uh it needs a lot of work that's my opinion i'm pretty sure they stopped working on it but moving along Attack of the Titan, or Attack on Titan, you guys, are, I just did a video on that not too long ago, you guys know my opinions on it, I mean, great concept, great game, like I said, uh, a lot of button mashing, and you have to do it in synchronized order, it's kind of tough sometimes, that's just my opinion on it, next up, Tokuden uh, Kiwami, uh, I've never watched the cartoon before, I heard it was pretty good, it's about like demons and all kind of crazy stuff, and I've never watched it before, uh, I might have to look it up on my uh amazon fire tv i know they have it on there and attack on titan i know they have a series i heard the series is pretty dope you know so we'll check those two out next up full metal alchemist i've never watched before i've never played this game before um uh, that's why i'm saying a lot of these games i've never played or i've never watched the series so i don't know about it like i said i can't play this one because this one's region locked of course it's a japan only game and uh yeah see for japan only i can't play it but again, looking at the back of it, it looks pretty cool. I mean, a lot of these games do. I don't know why they don't make it uh, these systems so they can play everything. It'd be pretty cool. But so I'm gonna be looking for probably. Um, and I know it's gonna be kind of hard to find a uh, backwards compatible PS3, a Japanese version. They're white. They made the uh, the ones we had back in 07, the big black one, and uh, that played one, two, and three. They have a white one, and it plays one, two, and three. I know a place that's selling one right now. He wants so much for it, and I'm I'm just not willing to pay. I think he wanted uh, about four hundred dollars for it, and I'm just not willing to pay four hundred dollars for that system. If I can talk him down, I will. But this guy's this guy's store is pretty expensive. I'm gonna talk about this guy in another video. This guy's store is just it's ridiculous. It's beyond retail price. Uh, next up, Beautiful Joe Two. Now I played this game. Um, this is a Japanese version as well. 
Uh, I played this game, uh, the regular version before. It was pretty cool. I liked it. Uh, Beautiful Joe, a lot of cool colors and very uh, interactive. It's very, it's a fun game to me. It's a very fun fighter game. And uh, if you guys like, it's not like a comic book to me, like a comic book kind of strip kind of thing. I actually enjoyed it. But of course, uh, like I said, this one I cannot play because it's Japanese. Next up, Dragon Ball Z. I don't know the name of it, but I have played this game because... I have the Retron 5, and you guys know, uh, unless you play uh, Super Famicom and Famicom games. So, um, I played this game. It is, it's pretty cool. Of course, I don't understand what it's saying, but when I skip past everything, it's just basically like a uh, Budokai, but for Super Nintendo. And uh, it's pretty decent. I'm not going to lie. It's a pretty decent game uh, overall. But uh, I can't get into anything else because I didn't understand what it was saying. Now, I know I need to update my Retron 5 because the Retron 5 lets you um, it basically have a a patch to where you can, it will translate any uh, Famicom or Super Famicom game. It will trans, uh, it'll translate the language. So that's pretty dope. I'm looking forward to doing that soon. Next up, this is uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai, which is, this is our American version. This is the Japanese version right here. Um, you guys know about Dragon Ball Z Budokai. It's basically, uh, basically a head-to-head -head fighting game. Uh, I think it revolutionized the uh, fighting game as far as anime. Uh, I'm not really feeling these new Dragon Ball Z games that are coming out right now. I miss the old Budokai days. I mean, it was just cool unlocking everybody and doing everything like that and earning, um, you know, earning everybody. Nowadays, the DLC, you can buy it and do this and that. I miss the old days where you have to fight and unlock everybody. So um, there's Budokai 1. Next up, Budokai 2. Same thing, uh, a lot of characters, uh, the graphics were a lot better in this game. Um, I really enjoyed 2 overall. I used to have the uh, one for uh, 360 that came out with a, uh, I think it came with Budokai, was it, it came with like, it's like a double pack, it came with, I think was it 3 and 2 or 2 and 3, something like that, but uh, it basically upscaled it and made it look a lot better, but uh, 2 is my favorite, I like using Majin Buu. My favorite character, one of my favorite characters of all time, in uh, Dragon Ball Z. Next up, Dragon Ball Z Budokai uh, Tenkachi. Uh, I didn't really, I'm not going to lie, I didn't enjoy it that much. I didn't, uh, I didn't really remember even really playing this game that much. Uh, but it was, I remember being okay. Uh, especially after, like I said, Budokai. It, it's, it's hard going to this game after you play Budokai. So it's a lot different to me. Uh, so there's my Dragon Ball Z series right there. Next up, Naruto. It's my Naruto series right here. Um, now, a lot of these I have not played because, like I said, these are, uh, I don't know, these two, uh, Clash of Ninja and Clash of Ninja 2 are for GameCube. You guys can see the boxes are different. These are Japanese versions of uh, GameCube. And uh, it's, I'm not, I don't know, I don't even know, the, I don't even know the name of this one. I don't know the name of it. It doesn't say it right there. Um, and that one right there, Ultimate Ninja Storm Generations. Um looked amazing but like i was saying like i was referring to last time um the camera angles kind of kills it off for me the camera angles and trying to land an attack when somebody's jumping and running around it's kind of like basically put it this way it's kind of like playing infinite warfare but with your hands say for example you're not using guns in infinite warfare and you have to run around jump around trying to punch the person to kill them it will be like nearly impossible almost because you can just move around so much so um yeah, here they are. I played Class of Ninja 1 before. Uh, I liked it a lot. I really did. I've never played 2. My boy tells me 2 is the best one. I've never had a chance to play it, and I want to. Um, so, here it is, guys. Um, I have some other... Um, I believe I have some more um, anime games. I just don't know the name of them, and I have to go around and look and find them. But, uh, yeah, this is it. Uh, guys, let me know what is your favorite anime series uh, video game. Let me know what you guys like and um, which are your favorite games. Um, like I said, mine's the Dragon Ball Z series. I like the uh, Naruto series to a certain extent. And uh, like I said, I really enjoy the One Piece uh, games. I feel like they're very detailed. Uh, they take their time. And um, I think they're a lot harder to make than some of these other games. That's just my opinion. Especially when they're uh, based off of a cartoon or a game or, or a movie or, you know, cartoon movie or something like that. So, uh, yeah, guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe to me. If you guys haven't seen my other videos, check them out. 
I uploaded my 360 collection, my PS3 collection yesterday. Hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Many more videos to come. Uh, like I said, if you want to see a, a certain topic of videos of my games, uh, like I said, reach me on Facebook, reach me on Instagram, comment on here. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. Uh, like I said, my boy hit me up on there and just wanted to see my anime collection. Uh, so here it is. All right, guys, have a good day. Peace out. Enjoy the rest of your day.